So I'm here with Matt Wilson, president, right, of Private oh, Press? Owner, creative director. Owner, creative, creative director. Uh, chief creative officer. Right? Everything. Yeah. Uh, higher level stuff at Private Press. And tell me what you've got here. Now, Will kind of told me this is a prototype for a new product yeah, that you guys is, are doing. Uh, well, it's a, it's a prototype for uh, a licensed product. This is Quicksilver, mm -hmm. uh, which is Commander Coleman Striker's sword. Uh, this is a replica, as you say. Um, made by a company called Artifix, uh, cool. who do, who do uh, really cool. It's you know it's made of foam, mm -hmm. so um, and it's very lightweight. And uh, I'm not sure if you really want to hit anybody with it, but. Um, but I guess you could, and it wouldn't be lethal. So. I was gonna say, is it for uh, keeping people in line in the booth? Yeah, or? Well, that's. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm security or the booth babe, depending on how you look at it. So, um, <laughs> um, but uh, hopefully, uh, what we're gonna see from them over time is uh, is actually a range of uh, replica weapons from, from the War Machine and Hordes games. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. How's it feel to hold your own creation in a lifelike form? It uh, it feels really really cool, right? Because you know when you're used to seeing it that big, right, for so long, and then. Uh, but here, you can hold it. It's, uh, it's very light, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. So, but it feels good in the hand. It feels neat, yeah. Like I could slay good. somebody. So, yeah, it's, it's really satisfying. Um, so, this is your 10-year anniversary, yeah. Private Tour Press, um, which is awesome for you guys. We're happy for you. How does it feel? It feels great. I mean, what's not to feel great? It's, it's awesome. I mean, right now, uh, um, Privateer is, is doing, the, I think, the best stuff that we've ever done in terms mm -hmm. of the products that we're putting out. And, Well, it's, just, it's, it's a good it's a good time it's kind of a you started 10 years ago it seems like it was just yesterday you started 10 years ago and you've gotten to this point so if we were to pick your brain where would you see yourself in this company in the next 10 years what's the big vision here? Uh, wow. you could have prepped me for these questions <laughs> a little bit so I could have, have an answer it's like it's 9 it was 9.30 in the morning you got your coffee you're yet? you're asking me all these big questions well we can always um, cut this <laughs> um you know, I think a lot of it is, uh, first of all, doing more of what we do right now, right? Mm -hmm. and just kind of uh, trying to keep doing it bigger and better. Uh, we have, um, I think, our mo is about every few years to create a new property, a new IP, and add to our library mm -hmm. of, of worlds. So I think that first and foremost, Privateer is a, uh, a world-building company. So mm -hmm. make like to make these big worlds and explore them, you know, not as, as opposed to a single iteration of a game. We like to dive in and really go through every, every you know, nook and cranny of this world. Yeah. So that's a, that's a lot of what we're doing. We're really focused on the Iron Kingdom stuff right now. We have the RPG coming uh, next year, we'll reboot on that. Cool. And, um, and then uh, we've also got a big focus on trying to take these, uh, these worlds, these properties, and um, find new expressions of them, whether it's you know, novelized fiction or the film projects or the video games, so that we can experience them in different ways and, uh, and uh, get to know the world better. That's very cool. So, do you have any exciting developments coming in the near future, in the next year or so, that uh, um, you want to tell us about? Yeah, we made it uh, at our Lock and Load uh, event a, few, a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. We made a bunch of announcements on the new products that we're going to be releasing. Um, we've got... Uh, so the, the RPG next year. We've got a couple of um, new sort of standalone games, uh, another Bodger game called Heap mm -hmm. that's going to be coming out. Um, and, uh, and we've got a few other like unannounced projects that we're working on. Um, basically, we're going to do a lot more games in different categories. Um, you know, we're not going to do another big miniatures game because we've sort of got that locked up yeah. right now. Yeah, done a great um, job with it. We've got a new science fiction property next year that we're going to be... Um, bringing out called Level 7, and we haven't released any information on that, but uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun, and that's something that we will um, explore through a, a series of games, different games that are sort of related and integrated, but um, but very different than what we do. Awesome, awesome. How about the Monster Pockets movie? Any update on how that's going? Is that um, still exciting? Is it... Uh... It's, yeah, it's super exciting. Uh, right now, I think we're sort of in a, in a holding pattern, um, uh, as you know, uh, Tim Burton is attached mm -hmm. to direct it. He's been working on a project right now that I believe is, is going to be finishing up sometime in the next few months, and we're hoping to, to get a news update on that sometime in the fall. Cool. Hopefully cool. we'll know more then. So you've had the 10 years in the past, you're going forward 10 years in the future, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. So thanks a lot, okay. and appreciate talking. Thank you.